This is a system that I'm calling Tapetricity. Because basically what you're doing is you're using this heating system tape, which is aluminum on one side and adhesive and pretty sticky adhesive on the other side, along with some file cards. These are regular 3x5 file cards and some paper clips. You can use large ones or small ones or there's a whole bunch of different designs you can use too. And a battery pack, some scissors to do a little bit of cutting, some tape to attach things, and various components that you want to test with. So this battery pack here has a 3 volt um, set of batteries in it. And if we go like this with the LED, we can see that that is the wrong direction for the LED, but this one is the right direction for the LED. So what we've just done here is created a circuit by using the LED and the tape. And this tape here attaches the card together but um, I found that this doesn't really hold it together quite as well. Um, it doesn't make as good a connection. So using tape on there doesn't work so well. But if you use paper clips on them, that can be a pretty good thing too. I also discovered that if you put the tape so that it covers a little bit uh, of the back side of the ends of the card, that's good too. So if you go like this and put that one on, that'll hold it nice and tight. And then if you go in the opposite direction this way, then the likelihood that they'll touch and make a short circuit is reduced. And now that should make a better connection. And so this is kind of like a switch. Or basically, if I let go, it, um, it loses connection. But I also discovered that you can make an actual switch. So let me move some things out of the way. And we'll see if we can put that together. So this one here uses the same idea except instead of an LED, this one's using a light bulb, which is actually a little bit hard to find these days. And so when you push on the switch, then you get connection. And if you look at the back side of the switch, it is a piece of file card that has this same aluminum tape on it. And you can do other things with it. Here's another one. This one has a couple of cards and it has an empty spot here where you can try different materials to make switches out of. Basically anything that's a conductor that bridges this gap will make electricity cross that gap. And so here is a card that just has an LED on it. And so I'll just place that there and I'll take a, a paper clip and drop that down. And everything's just touching, so having things actually pressed down a little bit can be helpful. So let's see, there. So in that case there, I'm having to hold these, so let me paper clip these together. And grab another paper clip. Now this is a, a fairly quick way to get working with electricity. It is not the most reliable system in the world because there's a lot of loose connections that would need to be overcome and um, it's certainly a very non-standard way of doing it. But it does allow you to get working with electricity with almost no tools and very little supply money. 
Uh, one of these rolls of tape is fairly inexpensive. I also originally, when I started working with this, I was using double stick tape and um, tin foil from the kitchen. So if you have a roll of double stick tape in the house or in the classroom, then you can use that. And so that works pretty nice. Now if you decide that you want to try something different, maybe you want to try a motor. So here's a little motor with a little laser cut adapter on the end of it. Just uh, the adapter is just there to show that the motor is actually moving. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Changing over from thing to thing is a little bit tricky. So there's that one. And I'll put this one. Alright, so since this is a switch, this one here is a switch, we'll need to bridge it with something. We could bridge it, we'll just use another paper clip. And what we have here is you can hear the motor turning, and you might even be able to see it. On the battery pack what I've done is I've soldered some, the, the leads from the batteries, I've soldered them onto the paper clips. Uh, you can just clip them into place, um, but what this does is this allows you to skip um, the uh, alligator clips, which are more reliable, but they're also more specialized and more uh, likely to go missing than just a regular paper clip. So, there is Tapetricity.